Now to CBS4 Investigates. They are some of the most widely prescribed types of antibiotics, but instead of making patients better, many say they've never been sicker. That's right, the most popular among them is Leviquin, and tonight, CBS4's chief investigative reporter Michelle Gillen reports that the FDA is being pushed to increase the warnings about how these drugs should be used. Andrea Ciani, now on crutches, says she doesn't get around her home like she used to, not since she was treated for pneumonia last winter. She was prescribed the generic version of Leviquin, a powerful and popular antibiotic. It was a prescription for 10 days. On the ninth day, my arms went numb. And that night I woke up in the, around midnight with it felt like flames were coming out of my elbows. Thousands of patients have reported similar reactions to Leviquin, one of a powerful family of antibiotics known as fluoroquinolones. Just how powerful is this class of drugs? Well, two of the prescribed uses are for anthrax and the plague. A Massachusetts man has sued the drug manufacturer, saying he suffered severe and debilitating tendon injuries. Leviquin has a black box warning from the Food and Drug Administration for increased risk of tendon ruptures, muscle weakness, and impacts on the central nervous system. Dr. Mary Lee Worley is a professor at NSU's College of Pharmacy. A black box warning is the most serious warning that a medication can get before really being pulled from the market. It is powerful. Dr. Charles Bennett is one of the nation's leading watchdogs for prescription drugs. He believes the big problem with fluoroquinolones is inappropriate use. And we're talking about going to a physician's office, having a little sniffle, walking out with an antibiotic, and then shortly thereafter, having these kind of problems. He's filed two citizens' petitions with the FDA seeking to expand that black box warning to include mitochondrial toxicity, meaning damage could occur within a patient's cells. The second petition wants to highlight the potential for serious psychiatric events. This is another one for, um, if I'm depressed. Carolyn Egan was given Leviquin to treat a sinus infection. Eight years have passed and the former daycare provider says she's never been the same. One day I can be okay on focus and another day I, I can't even talk to anybody because they're not making sense. It, it sounds like they're not speaking English. Leviquin is made by a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson. In a statement, they said the antibiotic has been used for more than 20 years to treat infections, including those that might be serious or life-threatening. When used according to the product labeling, Leviquin has been proven to be a safe and effective medication. But Dr. Worley cautions. We know that this class of antibiotics is being overly prescribed. If you start experiencing pain, especially around your ankle, to call your doctor immediately. Carolyn says she regrets not knowing about the drug's possible side effects. You don't be normal and then three days after taking a medication, and it's the only medication I was on, you can't walk. In a statement, an FDA spokesperson said the agency is reviewing the citizens' petitions, adding they consider drug labels living documents so they can be updated as new safety information becomes available. Michelle Gillen, CBS, 4 News Tonight.